My name is Jeanette Wilson, and I was going to share today about what it's like to have a daughter with an intellectual disability. It's very different than uh, raising a neurotypical child, as uh, there are so many different types of disabilities. The type of disability that our daughter has is called an intellectual disability, or it's sometimes called a developmental disability, and it used to be called uh, mental retardation. We noticed something very different about Elizabeth when she was still an infant. She was our fifth child, so we were very familiar with developmental milestones and typical behaviors for infants and toddlers. She was a very difficult child to console, different from our other children, and required a lot of stimulation. And we noticed some lack of eye contact um, and definitely some delays in her speech and communication and some other behavioral things, some sensory issues, and we knew that these were not normal. We knew something was off, but we didn't know what it was. So I spent many, many nights on the internet trying to find ways to help her um, and ways to normalize our, our home life as best as we could. She's 14, she'll be 15 this year, and having entered into puberty and the dynamics and the teenage angst that comes with that. The differences are getting more and more noticeable for her and she's having a harder time fitting in um, with her peers. Um, because of where her brain is, she misses a lot of things socially um, that definitely young people her age already are picking up on nonverbal communication. Um, she tends to come in too close. She misses the cues that we give off when we're ready to wrap up a conversation or when somebody said something that's inappropriate. And so those things are a real challenge for her. Um, she desires friendship so much. She desires attention from the opposite sex so much and yet doesn't quite seem to have the skills to manage navigating those things with ease. And so, um, it's been really hard to watch some of the changes as she continues to get older. Are you ever worried about her future? Yes. It just leaves me often feeling like I'm on uh, shaky ground. And I love being a parent more than anything else in the world. I love being a mom. I love being involved in my children's um, upbringing and their education. But Elizabeth sometimes leaves me feeling very unsure. 